Hello, Lola's. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to channel. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Hey. All right, guys. Hello, boys and girls. String up your boots and your shoes. No, I'm just playing. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is Logan. Logan is the Greta Sculpt. Sculpted by Francesca. No, what is her name? Oh God, something Francesca. Fig. Figure Francesca. Francesca figure. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, the level of disrespect. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Um. So. <laughs> um. So in the previous video, I was talking about. Um, how I was learning that I like chubby babies sometime if they look realistic and you know how I like the weight of them this baby is one of the exceptions it, he is floppy and I can't wait to get his hair rooted I um, I think I figured it out the hair that I'm rooting him with is so I mean it's like baby fine and so that's why it was so frustrating, I realized. Because now that I'm rooting with another hair, and it's still really soft hair and not like thick strands, but this hair is like, oh my God, it's like cotton. Like it, it just, it's so hard to root in the silicone. And I'm still gonna do um, a mixture. Um, it works really well with the eyebrows because it lays so nicely and stuff um but anyway nevertheless um once he gets fully rooted he's really gonna be a favorite uh chubster i love ho i love holding him actually so i keep saying that once he gets rooted i'll probably end up selling him like i do with everybody else but i'm not 100 percent sure on that because i've really loved this baby and unless i can find me another um partial baby that's chubby and that I and I after I paint it this skin tone or darker, I am not gonna let him go. That's that's on the real, okay? Um, so a lot of people, hmm, what I want to say, a lot of people are afraid to really love what they love, and so, um we get a lot of judgment within this hobby not not speaking on people outside of the hobby that don't have a clue about what's going on with us in this hobby i'm talking about the people that supposed to be our you know like-minded people supposed to you know understand the hobby supposed to you know enjoy the babies like we do etc etc you know we like oh i love this hobby because you know i like being around people that like what i like and understand the joy and the loving love of the dolls well you get that and you find your circles sometime but and you know everybody collect for different reasons they have different ways of collecting you know some people hate role play some people love role play some people you know hate you know big babies some people like small babies little babies some people only collect cuddle babies you know it's just some people collect vinyl and silicone black bubble and we can the list goes on and on and then on top of that we come home and then we have to deal with family and friends or people that know that we collect the dolls and what they have to say what well, some of y'all do cuz I don't cuz I don't even see people I'm you know they have me locked up in this house and they I, I get a pass to get out every every other month or so but anyway nevertheless um so sometimes you know my i have a lot of children <laughs> a lot of children <laughs> baby because i was <laughs> real life throwing that hot pocket no i'm just playing but um anyway i do have i have five children four grown children um for my marriage let me let me try to clear it up so I'll be looking all thotty. Yes, I had all four of my older children from the same man and I was married. Okay. And baby, I, I took well advantage of the privileges of being married. Anyway, never mind. Um nevertheless, 
So my children, they, they make their little comments when they see my baby sometimes. You know, they've learned to be a lot more respectful of it um, over time. But, I mean, it's, they've never been, like, horrible with it. But, you know, they'll tell me, like, babies are ugly and stuff. I think they're a little bit more less likely to just be so blunt with it now because they understand how how much it really means to me um the hobby and I think you know like I said maturity comes with all of that as well but I mean they still will tell me like oh you know this baby or that baby is ugly and stuff like that like um <laughs> y'all know some of them y'all see a little bit more than the other one but y'all know when Miss Tabitha don't sugarcoat or mint her words, and she was like, mm. she's like laughing, and she said, she says that, you know, Logan, you know, he he um uh, he looked like he could be somebody, baby. She's like, hey, he ain't the cutest thing, but he looked like he could be, like he looked like he could be somebody real child, and so she doesn't not like Logan. Um, sometimes some babies she'd be like, oh, you need to sell that one. That's not her perception of Logan. Logan, she says Logan looks like a real, you know, a real baby. And um, so anyway, um, I don't I don't let it affect me like I used to. You know, um, sometimes if if one of my kids said something about the babies or if, you know, my partner says something about the baby or um my mom didn't like it or something I would feel you know some type of way a little bit you know even though I would not admit it out loud you know it's like I don't care what they say I don't care this is my hobby this is my babies but deep down they be bothering me girl deep down deep down I be having some self-esteem issues <laughs> uh, they don't like you uh, you know what I mean um but I've, I've gotten past that. Um, I think the biggest thing that has helped me with this hobby is not, and I think I said this a couple videos back, my biggest thing that has helped me just really find my contentment in this hobby is not really including people that is not a part of the hobby into this hobby. And even though like, even with my mom, even though my mom actually does have <laughs> quite a bit of a collection because she'll come over and just start picking up babies and packing up clothes I'm taking this one with me and stuff like that whoa 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 not that one you know type thing we have that thing and she has I don't know she has about four or five over there um I still don't consider her to be a real collector collector she's not in it she hasn't invested money in it you know it's different when you give people something and they don't have to pay for it they don't value it the same versus when they actually have, when they actually put their hard earned money in it. Because then that means they are really more serious about it. Because if you get something, it's like, I'll take it because it's free. You know what I mean? But would you be willing to spend your hard earned money on it? That's when you really place value on it and know that they value it. So I don't go to her with a lot of stuff about the doll. Sometimes I'll talk to you uh, about some of these ganks in the community. Like when people are doing stuff to me, I'm like, mom. So this happened and that and that. But, you know, usually it's more on a money level or transaction type situation. Conversation is not necessarily about, uh, you know, the doll itself. So... I just learned not to include those people. Um, you know, it's kind of a tricky place to be in my position. And I never thought I would, would have or feel that way. But when you, you know, when you paint and collect, you know, it's kind of hard to have someone, you know, in the community that you can sit down and, and, and just, you know, talk to too. So it's kind of like... I don't know, like sometimes I feel like I kind of lost a little bit by becoming a painter and selling. Um, so I don't really get to fully enjoy it like I used to. I can't get on here and, and crack jokes and say certain things that I want to say because, you know, people take it serious or personal or, you know, 
they boycott my work, you know what I mean? I can't, I can't feed my churn, you know, we go hungry in these streets, we out here holding up signs, talking about we'll paint for food, you know what I mean? Like, <sighs> and then you got the people that play to be your friend or be very nice to you because they see you as a benefit later, like, oh, I'm gonna get a discount or maybe I might even get a free dog because this is my... You know, we home is now, you can't charge me full price now because me and you besties, we talk every day type thing. So you got to be careful with that kind of stuff. So it's a lot to it. But the biggest thing for me is that, you know, you find people that kind of think like you, that vibe like you. Now, I ain't saying that you got to agree on every single thing. That is just crazy. I don't even want, I don't even want those kind of friends that's like, yep, everything's up. Yep, I, I agree. Yup, I agree. Yup, I agree. Is there anything you don't agree on? Because I'm trying to figure it out. Like, is you really just agreeing because you think that's what I want to hear? Or do you really have an opinion? Because I like friends that have opinions, too. So, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Like, if you guys collect in the same circle... Um, and I'm not saying like clicky like type thing. I'm not saying, oh, you got to be spending X, Y, Z amount of money on dolls to be my friend. No, I'm talking about like we like similar like style babies or we have something to talk about or we like the same sculptors. I mean, it's and, and when sometimes you don't have to like to have the like the same style of painting, but you got to have something in common for y'all to really vibe and talk. You know what I mean? And then some people, I don't come here for the conversation. I'm just here for the dolls. Well, then sit behind your computer, look on the screen, don't make no comments, don't like nothing, just buy your dolls and shut the hell up. Like, don't come on here telling me you're not here to make friends, but you're in my comment section. No, we all here, we like socializing, we like interacting. Let's cut that crap. Let's stop, let's look, let's make that. What What the young people say? Let's, let's start making that a thing. I don't know what they say, how they say it. Yeah, let's let's make that a thing where we stop lying saying that we don't we're not here for socializing because if you're not here for socializing then you wouldn't be socializing. Like shut up. And then let you know, and then the whole and the other people, oh, I don't like the role play, I don't this, I don't that. But you name your babies, you dress them, they got dress codes, they got personalities, they got attitudes. Baby, that's a form of role playing. If you ain't role playing, just say you don't you don't do certain type of role play. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, we all have levels and limits. Like, I ain't slapping my titty in nobody's mouth either. That ain't my type of party either. But hey, to each his own. But don't send me that dog later, please, ma'am. I'll pass. <laughs> I'm like, toast tolerance over here. But anyway, um, just saying, we all have our limits. We all have our things that we don't or do not like. That don't mean that that makes this person crazy or a bad person or this hey whatever you do i'm good with it it just might not be my thing you know it might not be people thing to be walking around with a big old swollen belly talking about i'm reborn pregnant re reborn pregnant you see my baby bouncing you see my baby bouncing i'm reborn pregnant that might not be that thing either they might not want to be in the bathtub birthing baby dolls out. <laughs> I've done some things, haven't I? Y'all, haven't I done some crazy things? Water breaking, in hospital beds, screaming and hollering, pretending to give birth. That's extreme to some people. So I can't, you know, I'm talking about this one over here breastfeeding and this one over here, you know, uh, feeding it, the, the churn every day with the real children. I, but who am I to talk? I can't really, you know. I guess I can still talk about you though. <laughs> and I will. No, I'm just like, <laughs> but I guess, you know, we all go have our things to say, but at the end of the day, for real, for real, we really, you know, it's, it's, it's really crazy. Cause it's like, we're, it's harder being in the community than dealing with outside people, at least outside people just making wild, crazy comments because they don't really understand or know it. But the fact that these people actually collect, understand that these dolls bring so much joy and they're so fun to collect and that we just have fun with it and it's entertaining and those same people attack you that part is hard i think that's the harder part for me and so 
I don't know, but that's my thing. I don't know why I went all the way here with it, but bless Logan Lahart. He sat right here through the whole thing. It was his little eyes stretched all wide. Baby, you okay? He, listen, honey, he's just like, it's what my mama said. He gonna have a deep voice, ain't he? That's what my mama said. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bless his little heart. He sat right here through the whole thing. But we gonna, we gonna keep it moving, all right? So I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a pop out this first video for y'all. And then I'm gonna pop this second one out for y'all. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna stop doing these just chat ones. Because I know y'all said that was boring too. Somebody told me, say, I like to see a lot more animation with the dolls. I like to see you doing more with them. Because that, you know, just sitting there watching that baby is kind of bothering me. I don't know why I'm still watching the whole video. But for some reason, I just wish you'd do a little more. I know you do, baby. I'm sorry. I wish I'd do a little more too. <laughs> <sighs> all right now all right y'all we out here in the street you know <laughs> see y'all later thanks for watching bye oh don't forget to hit the subscribe button with your bald headed self <laughs> <laughs>